Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Joshy P. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another video. The Eagles offseason continues to heat up one day before the free agency period starts. Tomorrow the free agency period starts at 4 o'clock. Sadly, I start work at 4 o'clock. Um, won't be home till 9, so any moves that are made, you will guys not see a video from me till probably around 10, 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, giving my thoughts on whatever moves are made in that time. Now, the Eagles today only really made one move compared to yesterday. They made two gigantic moves. Um, but I'm also going to talk a little bit about the rumors that uh, went around the spectrum, the league today. Um, first big move, or the only big move that was made today, was that the Eagles acquired Leotis McKelvin off free agency market now they were able to announce this because McKelvin was released by the bills he does not go under the same rules as free agents that or as players that don't become free agents until tomorrow so he was already a free agent today they could have talked to him same with guys like Mario Williams or uh, I don't know Riley Cooper um, even though they obviously wouldn't negotiate with Riley Cooper they were the ones that cut him that's just an example Okay, so the deal is basically like six million dollars. It's a two-year deal. Um, McKelvin's good. He's a good player. He played well against us last year, and I think that's a, what a lot went into this. He also played really well under Jim Schwartz. Had his best career year. Had his best, the best year of his career under Jim Schwartz. Something like four interceptions. So they're already filling holes uh, now. McKelvin's definitely going to come in and compete for a starting job, whether that's nickel or that's an outside corner, I don't know. But my guess is that he will be lining up next or on the opposite side of the field next to Eric Rowe. That's just my guess. Um, and I think since he's definitely an upgrade over Maxwell simply because he knows the system. Now, everybody hates when you say, oh, this guy was really well. He did really well under Schwartz. Let's get him. But it's true. Like, if he did well under Schwartz, why would you not go after him? He's... He, Chances are he might do well again. Um, so that's pretty much it for McKelvin. A little bit about the rumors. Apparently we're the front runner for Chase Daniel. So my guess is Chase Daniel is on the team tomorrow. Mark Sanchez is not, uh, which is basically like just swapping quarterbacks. Unless you can get Chase Jan Daniel for cheaper than Mark Sanchez, which might be possible. Uh, that'd be great if so. Um, and basically the reason for that is just he uh doug peterson likes chase daniel he's he knows the system and he'd probably be a good backup and it's simply for that reason they're basically like mark sanchez is definitely more proven um but chase daniel would only be coming in simply because he knows the system um, and he has that connection to doug peterson another rumor apparently the eagles are still working on contract negotiation negotiations with nolan carroll um i've I've heard that they're not close to a deal, but it's a good thing that they are talking because, if anything, McKelvin will be a depth add, and Carroll will start opposite of Eric Rowe. Um, another thing, an outside linebacker news, because we need to be clearing up the or filling the hole that Kiko Alonso let leaves. Uh, to hear Whitehead, outside linebacker for the Lions, as well as Nigel Bradham, outside linebacker for the Bills. Two guys connected to Schwartz, two guys that played under Schwartz. Um, both, we are both pursuing, we're pursuing both of those guys. So that's good. I'll, I'd rather have Whitehead, more physical of a guy. Um, definitely, he can play all, all aspects of the line. He can play middle linebacker, outside linebacker. Uh, and then Bradham's good because, like I said, he knows the system. And he's a decent, decent player. I'd rather have Whitehead, though. Definitely more physical physical guy. Um, oh, and I just saw now that the Marco Murray's new deal has a base of $25.5 million, $12.5 million guaranteed, and up to $33 million in incentives. That's pretty decent. I don't really know how much he was supposed to make this year. Um, I think $8 million, so I don't know. Whatever. That's irrelevant. And then what else? What else? Brandon Boykin also on the list of players to watch for. And I do believe that was it. So a bit of a shorter video today, but tomorrow things are definitely going to heat up. I expect to have at least one video up tomorrow because I do expect the Eagles to make some signings. Uh, hopefully along the offensive line. I'm hoping get Jeff Allen in there. I love Jeff Allen. Uh, sadly, Asamele, I forget his first name, Kalecki, Kalecki Asamele got picked up by the Raiders. 
Um, Malik Jackson got picked up by the Jaguars, even though we definitely didn't have a shot at getting Malik Jackson. We don't really need Malik Jackson. Uh, that's just a big name free agent that got signed as well as Asamele. So the Eagles needs right now, definitely cornerback still. I think cornerback still glaring need, and I think they can fill that with Nolan Carroll. Outside linebacker, offensive line, and safety. Oh, and running back as well. And apparently they're still trying to move Ryan Matthews. And did I say wide receiver? Wide receiver. Uh, so, yeah, team's got a lot of holes. Got a lot of holes. Six out of the, what, 20? Six out of the how many positions are there? I don't know. Six. We need six positions. So hopefully we can fill all six before we go into the draft so we can draft best player available. We don't need to reach for anybody. That'd be great. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you so much for all the support on yesterday's videos. They did really well. I love you guys so much. You guys, whenever this time of the season rolls around, like, like last year was crazy, my channel blew up. Um, with all the moves that the Eagles are making. Highly appreciate you guys. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. I'm always talking about the Eagles. Give this video a like. Share with your friends. My name is Josh. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.